Okay, welcome back. In this lesson, uh, we're going to learn how to create a front page news article for the South Melbourne Commons website. So when we look at the Commons website, uh, over here, and we go to the home page, you can see that we have some a news article featured here, and we also have some other news articles featured over there and additionally we have a news page which you can go to which is a bit like a blog, a news blog. As you can see here it's displaying all those same articles plus all the history. Um, so that's all there. So what we're going to do is add a new news article and then if we decide to we can then make it feature on the front page, on the home page. So to do that it's quite easy. Um, We'll just quickly tidy this up. You're going to want to log on to the Joomla Administrator page. I assume you've done that already. The next thing you do is go to the Article Manager, click on Articles, select Article Manager, and it takes you to this page. Then simply click the New button, which is going to create a new article. So an article being a web page. Um, give your news item. Use, um, article a good title, so um, it could be that we're running a um, gardening workshop, and maybe it's um, maybe it's um, I don't know seedling. Seedlings Garden Workshop, that'll do for now. Think of something creative, something easy, not something too long. The alias field automatically gets populated with the basically the text here. Um, it'll be all lowercase and using hyphens to separate where there are spaces. Um, if you don't like the default one, then just type something new in. So I'm just going to call this one Seedlings Workshop. This is what becomes the web page address. So where I've got news.html, in this case I'm going to have a page called seedlings underscore workshop.html. So this basically drives what gets um, shown in the address bar. And again it's important to have something meaningful in here so search engines can find us. Um, based on you know common sense names. The important things we're going to do here are in the section. We're going to select news and by default it'll probably come up with um, latest news because that's the only category in that section. So this section and category when they're set and when we display the news page, this news page is basically driven by a blog and the blog shows only articles that are set with section news and category latest news. Then it's simple a matter of typing in your content here. If you, it's probably a similar one for Mac. Paste all your content into Notepad, then copy it out of Notepad, and paste it into your document. And you can then go about. Beautiful. So now we have our article. We've got a title. We've got the section, the category set. We've got all our content here. We've already proofread it. It's already looking beautiful. We've highlighted things and put links to other articles in where need be. Well, of course, down the bottom of the news for more information, contact so and so. Always have date, time, event, place, etc., etc., etc. in your news. Um, think about the standard process of writing a press release or a news item. Keep it engaging and fun, nice and short and sharp. If need be, link to more information on another web page that you can create. We can just click apply. Uh, for now, so it's going to save the page and keep us on this page. We can then go to the latest news page, the news page of the Commons. We're just going to click news again to refresh the page. And waiting. Okay, here's the news item. You can see here that the text doesn't look great. Um, this image is way out to the right. What I would then um, go and do most likely is to go back to my original image, save this image. Um, I could just do right click, save image, and then resize it so it was much smaller, um, or not much smaller, but a bit smaller and so it would fit nicely in that page. 
we can try clicking on the image and resizing it in here. That might also work. But it's a little bit funny, our news blog. So let's just apply that change. Come back here, just refresh the page. Okay, so it's still pushing it out to the right, not sure why it's doing that. Um, but for now, I'm, it could be because of this image here actually, because it's taking up more than half the page. If I went back and edited this image and cut it off, it's about there, um, this page would probably display a lot more nicely. So at the moment if we go to the home page, this would all be pushed across too. So You can see that we've um, got the seedlings garden workshop page already appearing here which shouldn't happen, uh, I didn't think. I thought that the instructions I was given is that we actually have to insert this bit of text here at the bottom of the web page of the article to get it to appear on the home page. So normally by creating an article and giving it news and latest news category it should appear in here as it does but I didn't expect it to appear on the home page. I'm just going to go back in here um, let's delete half that text and then let's um, use the word paste feature paste in that load position news function and this was supposed to be the magic uh, essentially that um, makes the news article appear on the home page. So I'm going to go back to the home page and just see whether that changes the layout a little bit. You can see here again that it's only showing part of our image. So again what I'd have to do is grab the original image in the article, save it, open up the GIMP editor or any other image editor you've got and basically um, shrink that image into that size. I'll try to write down the pixel dimensions um, for the best sized image to go in here and you can then um, resize your image based on that. You can always insert more than one image in the article so you could have one image here that's resized nice and small um, so it fits nicely in this box here um, or you and then you can just you know, down below have a much bigger image of something different so feel free to play around and get it right. Anyway, that was a really quick intro into how to get a news article on the front page. Except I forgot to mention these tabs here. So we've been looking at the article editor. We also need to look at the publishing and metadata. Always write a description in here. So it could be... Um, come to the commons... Um, Garden Workshop on seedlings, or it could be just um, Commons Garden Workshop on seedlings. Learn how to do it free to the public. This information might actually appear in the Google search results if someone searches for um, seedling workshops in South Melbourne. So, keywords, uh, words you can add in here, so things like commons, um, garden, seedlings, workshop. For each word separate it by a comma or you can also group words together. Garden workshop. I wouldn't add too many, maybe five, ten at the most. Um, just add the most common things in. South Melbourne. So think about a search engine. Some of them do or don't use this information but again it's just words that will kind of um, help you be found I guess is what it's all about then just click save and we're done